Thomas's new trucks. It was a busy, bustling day on the island of Sodor. The engines and their trucks were working very hard. Thomas was shunting trucks in the yard, but his trucks were old and rusty. It was very hard work. Then James arrived. Look! James puffed proudly. The fat controller gave me some smart new trucks. They're much nicer than yours. It's not fair, moaned Thomas. I want new trucks too. The next morning, the fat controller had a surprise for Thomas. Thomas, your trucks are getting too old for your heavy loads. You are to have some new ones, just like James. Thomas was delighted. Thomas collected his new trucks and puffed proudly away. But when Thomas arrived at the docks, there was James. He was showing his new trucks to Bill and Ben. I've got new trucks too, puffed Thomas. They're even nicer than James's, puffed Bill and Ben. Your trucks might be nice and new now, huffed James, but you'll never keep your trucks as clean as mine. Yes, I will, chuffed Thomas. I'll have the cleanest trucks on the island. James watched Thomas puff away. The next day, Thomas puffed into the quarry. James's trucks were already loaded. I've got my stone all ready, boasted James, and not a spot of quarry dust on me. I can do that too, pouted Thomas. So Thomas backed under the hopper, but just as the stone was released, Thomas's trucks chuckled. Then they rolled a bit more. Bother! Puffed Thomas. Ha! Puffed James. Your trucks don't look so new now. Thomas was cross. Thomas puffed to the coaling plant. This time, behave yourselves. Thomas snapped to his trucks. I want you to stay clean. When he arrived, Thomas backed carefully and slowly under the coal hopper. But the trucks chuckled, then rolled too far again. Thomas and his trucks were dirtier than ever. Later, when Thomas arrived at the washdown, there was James. See, I have got the cleanest trucks. You'll be here for hours getting yours cleaned, laughed James. Thomas was very cross. The next morning, when Thomas puffed into the yard, he had an idea. If I use my old trucks to take the coal, he puffed. My new trucks will still look clean and new. So Thomas backed up to collect his old trucks. He collected some coal from the coaling plant. Then he raced across the countryside. Ah! Laughed Thomas. I can get these trucks really messy and get the coal to the docks on time. Then there was trouble. The rusty coupling broke. Thomas's trucks were rolling by themselves. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Thomas applied his brakes, but he stopped too quickly. The trucks bumped into the back of Thomas and the coal spilled all over the tracks. Thomas was stuck. Soon the fat controller arrived on Harvey. Thomas, these trucks are too old for pulling coal, the fat controller said sternly. And now you have caused confusion and delay. Sorry, sir, said Thomas. Harvey and the workmen soon cleared the tracks. 
But Thomas still had to deliver the coal to the docks. So he raced back to the shunting yards. And this time he collected his smart new trucks. Harvey and the workmen loaded the coal into Thomas's trucks. Their new trucks were soon filthy. But they were filled with coal and ready to go. And they were very happy. Thomas raced to the docks. Suddenly the trucks weren't being troublesome. They rolled easily up hills. They rattled quickly down hills. And they sang all the way. Thomas raced into the docks. We need to unload quickly, the dock manager called. But don't worry, we'll try and keep your new trucks clean. That's OK, puffed Thomas. My trucks would rather be useful than clean. Just then, James puffed into the docks. Look at your trucks, boasted James. Filthy again, not like mine. James tried to pull away, but his troublesome trucks didn't want to be clean anymore. Hold back, hold back, they chuckled. Just then, Cranky's cable snapped. He dropped a large crate of melons. <laughs> Bother, huffed James. James, tutored Thomas. I think trucks like to be useful rather than clean. And all the trucks agreed. 